In this video, I'm going to draw the complement of the graphs which are appearing on the screen there. So for those two graphs, I'll look at uh, the complements. I'll start by looking at what the complement of a simple graph is. Well, the complement of a simple graph G is the graph G complement, where edges in G complement there are edges that are not in the graph G. So I'll draw my G1 complement. To draw the G1 complement, I usually find it to first draw the complete graph. Both from the complete graph, that's where we can see the edges that are not in a G1. By definition, a complete graph on n vertices denoted by Kn is a simple graph that contains exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices. So when you are looking at this graph here, we are having four vertices. So I will draw a graph K4. For the graph K4, we have V1, V2, V3, V4. And look at all possible edges. So look at edges V1 and V2, V1 and V3, V1 and V4. So those are the edges where we have V1. Then I go on and look at edges where we have V2. V2 with V1 is already there. V2 with V3. V2 with V4. So those are the edges where we have V2. Then look at edges where we have V3. V3 with V1 is already there. V3 with V2 is already there. So we need V3 with V4. And we now have a complete graph. So from this complete graph, I will then go on and remove the edges which are in this graph here. So I will remove this edge. So put it away. Remove this edge. So put this away, remove this edge, then we put this away. So what we are having here now, these are edges that are not in this graph. So by definition, that's the complement. So what we are having here, this is the complement of the graph G1. I will now move on to the second part, looking at uh, the graph G2 there. So we want the complement of G2. So I will write my graph where we have the complement of G2. And just like what I did before, to draw that complement, I will start by looking at the complete graph, which has five vertices there. So I will have my V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. And then look at edges where we have V1. We have V1 and V2, V1 and V3, V1 and V4, V1 and V5. Those are the edges where we have V1. Look at edges where we have V2. V2 with V1 is already there. V2 with V3. V2 with V4. Or V2 with V5. So those are the edges where we have V2. Look at edges where we have V3. V3 with V1 is already there. V3 with V2 is already there. V3 with V4. And then V3 with V5. Then I now go and look at edges where we have the V4. V4 with V1 is already there. V4 with V2 is already there. V4 with V3 is already there. Then we have V4 with V5. So what we are now having there is a complete graph with five vertices. So from this complete graph, I will then remove the edges that are in this graph here. So I will go on and remove this edge here. And then remove this edge here. And then go on and remove this edge here. And then go on and remove the edge where we have the V3 there. And then go on and remove the edge where we have the V4 there. So we have removed all the edges that way in G2. So when we have edges that are not in G2, that's the complement of G2. So what we are having here is the complement of the graph G2.